So we're here today to talk about uh, low latency in the 5G network and why it's important. And this is an inverted pendulum. This is turned over and we're trying to balance that arm on the pendulum. If you can imagine um, trying to balance a broomstick on your hand, that's another example of an inverted pendulum. So the way that this is working is we are capturing uh, sensor values, the angle that the arm is and also the position of the cart. Those two values get sent through the 5G network and return, and we, after we do the calculation in our Crano uh, Edge server, uh, the, the calculation comes back and we can then move the cart and balance the pendulum. So right now we're at about seven or eight milliseconds of uh, latency and the pendulum, as you can see, is balanced pretty well. So I'm gonna now artificially increase the latency and then you're gonna see that the pendulum becomes unstable. So this is an example of something that requires low latency and it's a stand-in for like an industrial process. So on a manufacturing line, there are lots of things that require very, very tight control loops. Um, and in order to do that, you need low latency. In addition, things like AR and VR, as they become more prevalent, in order to have a good user experience, you need very low latencies to pull that off. I'm here with Nokia and we are demonstrating the Nokia Live 5G system with a variety of interactive experiences for the commuter here at Shape. So what am I doing here? I'm at a bus stop. This is the LA Transit bus stop that we've replicated, the LA Transit bus stop of the future, where now you can actually have interactive experiences right while you're waiting for your ride. So essentially, this map is not an ordinary map. You can actually transform it into an interactive map instead of just taking a photograph of it and looking for information that way, which is slower and not as useful. What you can do is actually scan the image on this map and, and have a digital experience where you can look for different routes, you can actually buy tickets, you can look for restaurants nearby, and do anything really you want to. Here today behind us at Ericsson, we have three different demonstrations. We're looking at the low latency aspects of 5G. So we're going to reduce the latency compared to our 3G and 4G networks. What this is going to be able to do is enable low latency games. So when you see something happening, it's going to happen within milliseconds rather than hundreds of milliseconds. So we can see, we've got on our left hand side, we've got a car. Uh, we can see the changes and people aren't able to control the car as easily. We've also got a basketball hoop, which will impact how people can see that, how, move, how quickly their hands move in front of them, and they'll slow down the reaction time. So they get very impacted by that and start missing the basket. And the same with our whack-a-mole. We were able to increase that delay from 5G latency to 3G latency, and then we can, they'll see they're actually not able to hit the buttons because they can't see them as quickly. So we at Ericsson are really excited by bringing 5G along with the high levels of throughput to really improve the customer experience and increase the number of opportunities for using our 5G. So today we came to introduce to you guys the Galaxy S10 5G. You can go ahead and do gaming and have an awesome gaming experience all because of the 5G network. So we are very excited to show how fast our Galaxy S10 will be with the 5G networks.